What's going on everybody, Haven and here, and after the success of the 1.20 Survival Island, we're doing it again. But this time, with the boys. We've got new islands, we've got new problems, and why is the water green? 5k likes and we will do 200 days, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Oh god, we're doing it again. Oh lord, we're doing it again. Welcome to Survival Island Trios Edition, but the trios ain't these free animals over here. It's the fact that I actually have Minecraft friends, and there's one of them over there. You can't really see him. Hey, hey, Marvin! <laughs> Marvin! No, you can't hear me. And you can't really see, but over on that island over there, there is a third friend. But we'll, we'll introduce him in the future. Now, you're probably looking at this and thinking, Haven, why is the water all green? It's a good question. Apparently, I have found an area that the water is just so poisonous. So, for example, if I just quickly... Um, Oh, it's not poison, it's wither. It is wither. Okay, so basically, in this world, you go in the water, you get withered. That's it. That's the simple side of this, and uh, three of us are eventually going to have to get together and survive 100 days in this world. We can't touch the water, so we'll have to make some adjustments to, to get to each other. Go back to the Marvin, he ain't got any wood. All right, let's begin. So let's take down the big tree. After making a couple of usual things, I checked out the island. More importantly, the animals. There is one sheep, a cow, and a chicken, so a good start. I better trap the chicken in for the time being. And now let's give a full review of our situation. Now since we can't go into the water, we could very easily make it over to Marvin's Island and have a friend, but if I am gonna go and do that, I'm gonna do it in style, which means I need myself a bit of wood. But there's no time to build any fancy bridge over to him because the night is just here, so let's head underground. <laughs> Are you okay? Is this a f***ing among us? <laughs> What you find? What is what is up with my island? Is there an Among Us under my island? Under your island? Is there an Among Us under my island? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I may have um with my spare time built a glass among us underneath that particular island. <laughs> Which is why I was so adamant about you choosing this island. <laughs> Oh, that's a problem. <sighs> water caves, huh? Hmm. Can't be having that, even without the poisonous water. I did actually find a cave that was actually, you know, a normal cave with normal skeletons. Now, and a little bit of iron too. Can never complain about that. Oh, well. Great. This is deep slate. Not looking forward to exploring that with no food. So after grabbing a little bit of coal, I decided it was time to skedaddle. I was heading up at night and suddenly there was more animals. They've just spawned on my island, which was fantastic. This is already so much easier than the sandy Indian dune island is what you've all dubbed it. Some things don't change though. For example, my low health situation. Once day two hit, I started breeding the chickens already. I'm gonna need a lot of food for me and probably the boys in the future, so this was a good start. I then checked on Marvin, who, um, nice dirt shack, I guess. Now, unfortunately, without any health and little food, there was no way I was going to head back underground because I was probably going to die. So I decided to pass the time until I get some more food. But let's flatten out a little bit of land. I also plan to get as much wool as I can. Gonna need a bed in the near future. I may as well plant some more trees along the way. I did nearly die by falling into the water. You know, no big and no problem. And now I have no choice but to murder the chickens because if not, I was going to starve. After a couple of snacks, I headed back underground and it was simple stuff. I began heading into the the deep slate before I dealt with a giant zombie horde. Emphasize on the word horde because, boy, there's quite a few of them. My reward, though, was some iron. When I say some, there's quite a lot. Like, my, my goodness, look at all this iron. Oh, <laughs> not gonna complain about that. I picked up 26 pieces of iron by day three, and with some bones I collected, I decided to go and get myself some wheat. Let's lead the cows and the sheep into their new area, and the rest of the bone meal. Well, I obviously need the color pink. Why? Because I, uh, need it for a build. Hey, uh, suspicious build. You'll see. Anyway, I've got this leftover steak. Let me just cook that and, uh, oh, that. Uh, ignore that. It's for a bit later. Anyway, after cooking a little bit of iron stuff and, uh, well, I just feel safer already. Everything's going well. On day four, I was still collecting wool for the build. And even though it is bad water, I can still use it to grow the crops. And even more building continued before, hey, a wandering trader. Let's, oh, no, wait, wait, come back. No, don't, don't go for that. Oh, it's just, all right, it's going to Marvin. Anyway, on my build, I got the outside done. I do need a couple of black blocks. And the only thing I could really think of was coal. I worked out that. I needed nine blocks of coal to have this done, so that's 81 coal needed. And so let's go get some. Water hurts. That that is my TED talk. Day five and over 80 coal later, and let's do this. Oh, I did the math wrong. That's fine, it was an easy fix. Anyway, let's go and get a little bit of sand, do the little leggies, we'll get some glass and pop that in there. Even did a little bit in the inside, and perfect. What, what do you guys think? Fantastic. Got to celebrate with some Among Us steak as well. In the Among Us house. 
yeah. Now that that was done, uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something like I planned to- Oh, Marvin! In more of a panic that Marvin wasn't gonna starve on day six, I had made a basic bridge over to him. I can already hear him already. Dan! Yeah? Is your house a pink among us? No. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, now that you mentioned it, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Shut up! <laughs> And here's Marvin. Wait a second, he didn't have any wood. How did he dig with the Did he dig out all this stone with his fist? What a psychopath. Anyway, let's bring him home. Also, look at Austin all the way over there. Look, look at him go. Look, look at that little man run. After that, it was a bit of a tour day, because on day seven, after showing the guys around my base, we then went over to Marvin's base. All right, welcome to, uh, Crumple Town. How much iron did you get out of that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> we have the same idea. Do you know what these suspicious, suspicious stews do? All right. Three, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh, I got poison. I got weakness. I got night vision. <laughs> Damn, Marvin got the only okay one. I can't, Damn. Yeah. I'm... yeah. <laughs> What's in this furnace? What's in this furnace? Let's have a look. Uh, I see a piece of steak. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna He's lose it. He's suspiciously shaped. I'm gonna lose it. He's very suspiciously shaped. I... I'm gonna lose it. I swear. I don't see the problem. What's going on? Now we do need to get a little bit of food, but uh, first. Even. Is, am I losing my mind, or do I see something in the sky? Even. Yeah, do, I, do I see something in the sky? You're probably like the sun or some clouds, why do I see- Even, <laughs> even, please, please tell me there's not an Among Us in the sky! No, <laughs> even, please, course, please, course please, please tell me there's not an Among Us in the sky, man! Marvin, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even see an Among Us in the Curb. sky. Curb. Curb. okay. Let me come, come to where I am. Come to where I am. Oh, God, uh -huh. he's... You're doing rest of this. He's super visible. Oh, oh, from up here, you can see it. You, you can see, like, the <laughs> yes. detail of it. It's magnificent. I spent an hour at 2 a.m. building these. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm coming down. Where'd the water go? You're gonna leave a giant cobblestone? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm not giving you water. Break that. Uh. <laughs> Day nine, and I'm not even kidding. We watched Marvin climb down for so much longer than we should have, but uh, man, what can you do? Anyway, it was back to my island. We all need food, but it is just a waiting game. At least we have one fishing rod. Not like I have it or anything. So we get to watch Marvin run back and forth for two strings. And though those two had fishing rods, I had to get myself a little bit of food myself. And it turns out that Austin had some orange snacks, which I kind of you know, yabba dabba yo. On day 10, and I'm gonna be honest with you, not really that much happened. We was talking about stuff. I guess I planted some saplings. I breeded the animals. It, it was honestly just another day of waiting around for food because, you know, food is kind of important to survive 100 days. At least that's what my dad tells me. The good news is that I don't need food when I get donations, especially when that donation is food. Thanks, Marvin. I then began working on a semi-auto crop farm. Now, if you'll remember in the 100 days on the Sandy Dew Island, you'll remember that I made one of these with dispensers and you all told me off for not using trap doors. So good news, people. I'm actually using trap doors this time. Am I learning? Am I learning? Oh my God, I'm learning. And lucky for me as well, Austin had some redstone for me to be able to use for this farm as well. I made a last couple of additions on day 12. Now I just need some cobble, which of course I have done. What Marvin does at this point is just stealing from my friends for whatever I need, though the farm is going to be used for everybody in the end. Made myself a couple of repeaters and it works like a charm. On day 13, after some more Grand Theft Carrot, I got the first batch in. And just like that, we are back to no food. So a uh, cow's huh? Rest in peace, homie. Rest in peace. It's okay, though. I now have plenty of steak, and I also got myself some leather booties, which was nice. I was ready to head back into the caves. Dude, need some coal or some, some iron. As I was mining iron, I did remember that I grabbed all the coal in this cave for my build. So, uh, yeah, good luck finding coal haven. I'm still caving on day 14. I first of all found myself a geode, and things were looking up when it got even better. A spawner? A zombie spawner? Perry the platter spawner? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. The funny thing is about the spawner is that we never actually used it. And the reason was is that for the last couple of days, Austin has been working on a mob grinder himself and we just used that instead. It's sometimes the mob grinder worked better, but I really felt like we could have made this into something, but like I say, we just never did. <laughs> Do it. I'm so annoyed right yeah. now. 
Why? Because they freaking spawn that had a book in it and it's really the curse of vanishing. The most <laughs> useless book in hell. Anyway, after grabbing some more iron and of course a little bit of copper too, I began heading up. Did one of you guys, mm -hmm. like, it's fine if you did, but did one of you guys pour water down my hole? I would never do such a thing. Uh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I have presents for us all. It's all the time. I should start saying, I should start making mother jokes. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's, you can see it so clearly from here. I hear, by the way. Um... Ooh, thank you, sir. Let's go. I did also need a little bit of a storage area, so I decided to take away the floor and add a basement to my home. I will make it look prettier later, but for the time being, it will do. I also decided to make the semi-auto farm a little better by adding some water to it, so hopefully stuff will now grow a bit quicker. And it was on day 16 that I had it finished. It was now time to go into the caves, this time accompanied by my boy Marvin. And we went into the deep slate we did. And we went into the deep slate we did? That wasn't even a sentence. He called you a dongus. Yeah, he was out there. Okay. Damn. Now you're joking. Now you're, now you're joking. <laughs> now you're joking. <laughs> Jerry. We're on day What's that noise? I firstly had to save Marvin from a witch. Not like I had my own shabuckle to deal with. After searching around, I found myself a nice little lush cave, which berries, food. Oh, and also diamonds, which are also kind of cool. But there was no coal, which was the main reason I went down here in the first place. So that's kind of cool. I did actually have to stop on day 17 because neither of us had an iron pickaxe. We are 17 days in and we don't have enough iron spare for a pickaxe. So, you know, do what you want with that information. And let's mine these diamonds. <laughs> Of course, there's only one. And then I went on to find a many a great thing. Oh, you know what? You could... I found more diamonds. Let's see. Oh, 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 screw the diamonds. Screw the diamonds. It's zombie villager. Zombie villager. Zombie villager holding Ooh. an item. Zombie villager holding an item. It's not gonna. Sp it's not gonna despawn. All right. Um. Okay. All right. What do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? Now the goal was simple. Let's get this zombie villager out. At least that was the plan until my Minecraft crash, which was fantastic. And because Marvin had left and Austin was who knows where, the zombie villager had despawned. That was fantastic, awesome, great guy, amazing. Thank you, Minecraft. We returned back to the top on day 18 when uh, well, I remembered something. You know what I've just realized? What? With the what? zombie villager and the crush and everything that I dealt with, I didn't mind the, the diamonds that I found near that mine shaft. Oh, Daniel! Man. Sorry, I, I have one. I don't know what we could do with it, but uh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Been made? Also, good news Kerb had worked a little bit on the semi auto farm, which definitely helped a little bit. We are now gonna have quite a bit of food. Cr crazy, I know. Food and Minecraft. Who'd have seen that one coming? It did help with the breeding mainly. Now we're gonna have proper food on there. And then I decided to have a quick check on Austin's Island and see what I'd done. He'd only really built this sandstone house. Not really that much there. And then on day 19, after grabbing a little bit of food, I'm going to go caving again. Well, at least that was the plan. Target spotted. Let's get out of here. <laughs> never we're, 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 we're never here. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect crime. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out quickly. Day 20, and now it was back into the cave. Firstly, I went to go grab those diamonds that I forgot about. I now have three diamonds, so let's go. And I found myself some more diamond. D diamond. It was one, so we only need one more. And, well, there you go. We now had one more diamond, which means in four veins of diamonds, we got five diamonds. On day 21, I found myself a lava pool and started mining some obsidian. And then it was time to get back up to the surface where Austin had enacted his revenge for, well, the slight flooding in his house. I'm back now. Hello. Hello. Okay. What? Anyway, after making myself some enchants, I actually got silk touch on my shovel, which was definitely going to be useful at some point. And then on day 22, using the other pieces of obsidian I grabbed, it was now time to enter the nether. I'm sure nothing could go wrong in here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Did you hit the pigment? Oh, okay. Yep. Well, they're, look, my bad, my bad. They're, they're only on you, so uh, hit me out. 
<laughs> Immediately starts fortifying. We kept searching even on day 23 where honestly not really much happened. Other than one time where I lost the boys, we had to sort of relocate where we were, but yeah, that was about it. I did decide to start grabbing some levels, but I believe around day 24, you never don't need levels in Minecraft. It was also this day that we actually found ourselves the fortress, so let's go and get some blazers. Day 25, and as a collective trio, we was able to get 15 plus blaze rods. It's just time for us to get back. Still better grab some levels, though. Again, you never don't need levels in Minecraft, so let's just grab those. And we got back on day 26, or should I say, 926. So on day 27, well, things were happening. So you remember my house lawn that kind of went kaboom? I think it's time we do a little bit of revenge. And I think let's start with Marvin, because so far he hasn't been pranked so far. It's kind of hard to kind of prank his house, because his house is just, well, a hole. That is honestly going to be a problem. I really think that I need to fix it. Let me, uh, let me just go and get some stone. Day 28 and I think it is time to really give my friend a, give my friend a hand let's say. He's got a massive hole in his house so let me just go ahead and fill that for it that perfect. Look at that. Add some dirt on there and fantastic. I also had a look at Austin's base. I did have a couple of plans to get him back but I do need more time and since they were about to head back I didn't really want to risk it. For now I'm going to get myself the red mushy down. And it was on day 29 where I got the brown mushy down and whilst we're waiting let's fix the Among Us house the best we can. Taking the frame really wasn't an issue, but unfortunately, I'm yet again without coal blocks, so I will have to go back into the caves and re get them at some point. But I was too eagerly waiting around the base because it was day 30 when the boys finally returned. Okay, well, I I kind of like need to go do stuff now. I've got a lot of chores I need to do that I was supposed to do a while ago. Oh, that's fine. I mean, we got we got to day 30, you know, we can. Did get Can to day thirty. There is no way. There is no gun. There is no way. What? I, I don't know, dude. There is. I, don't, no, I was Molly, waiting. Get back I was server. waiting. Molly, get <laughs> get on the server, server. idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe it. Did something I, looked different something? to you. It's because it's something different. I missed something. <laughs> something. Oh, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You are. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, Wait. Like a bridge. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> my bed. <laughs> All my stuff. Oh, it was completely Wait, did you just leave his stuff down there? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. And so when we got back to recording on day 31, well, firstly, I fixed up my sword, and then I got to work on sending up a level 30 enchanter because, well, nobody else was going to do it. Do need a lot of leather, though. Don't worry, we was there uh, making progress. And then I wanted to go get those coal blocks, so it was back into the cave looking for more coal. Wasn't that bad, actually. On day 32, I had the coal blocks in. I re-got some glass, and he is back, peeps. He's back. Now let's go and get some more food, which was another easy sort. And we need about 30 leather to get the level 30 enchanter set up, so we got some more work to do. I did have an idea that maybe I could speed up the process by bartering with piglins. Unfortunately, I didn't have any gold, but Marvin did. Another classic take donation from your friends. Anyway, it was instant ever we go. Didn't take us too long to find a pigment and start wheeling and dealing. On day 33, when we actually completed the trades, I got an extra 19 level, which actually wasn't that bad at all. We had 35 in total now, so we only need 10 more to go. And then it was just pretty much a case of waiting for the cows to grow up and murdering when that time comes in. It was a long day. I did get bored of waiting on day 34, though. I decided there's no point in setting up a level 30 enchanter if I don't have, well, 30 levels, and so I went back into Nether to grab some more levels. I was going strong on day 35, I had over 30 levels when something cool happened. Me? With a try, I mean, you just got nothing to do, I'm just giving you a task. I mean, I'll, I'll just chop down trees. I, I no, don't know how I, will... I, I don't know how I keep doing this. I'd like to make it clear that I am a Y60. Oh, apparently I already have the achievement. I found ancient debris at Y60. Oh. It's like uh, the fourth time I've done that in a hundred days video. Well, just pog, you've got a clip. It's supposed to be really rare. I've done it four times. I was still going on day 36, now with 37 levels to my name, where just around the corner, can you see it? That bastion? Do not ask me how I spotted that. Now, I would just go charging by myself, but unfortunately, I had low food reserves. Good thing Marvin had agreed to come to me in the never and give me some food. But for now, let's just go back to level grinding. Oh! My god, okay. Uh oh, no no no. Never mind. 
I'm not gonna lie, nearly just died. That would have been terrible. It would have been terrible. I fell in lava, but I still had a fire res pop from when we prayed with the piglins. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Day 37, and Marvin is here. And he has snacks, which is even better. I'm not gonna lie, this bastard, it, it sucked. We spent a while searching around here in all the chests. There, there was no Neverride, there was no cool gear, there was no pig step or, or anything of the kind. This bastard was a waste of time. Anyway, let's head home. We got back by the night of 38, and look at this boy. It's been a while since I've seen a wicked cool build in one of my videos, let's be honest. Austin has done himself proud. And on day 39, we got ourselves enough leather. Unfortunately, we didn't actually have enough sugar cane, which was not my fault though, I asked one of the boys to deal with that, so again, again, it was just a bit of a waiting game. On day 40, I stole all of Marvin's sugar cane, and it was now done. Anyway, let's get some enchants done. Wait, what? You can't what? take Curse of Vanishing off a diamond pickaxe, are you serious? No. Nope. Why does oh. it matter? It's vanishing, we, we can't die. No, I, I can't re-enchant it. You can. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is horse! Cool, shop is full, looking free, nice. With no diamonds, sadly, I had to settle with an iron pickaxe, and of course, it's a perfect pickaxe. Why, why couldn't I have got that on my diamond pickaxe, seriously? Speaking of on day 41, well, diamonds are kind of a rarity on this island, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some. It'll be a long trip, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. It was day 42 when I was in the caves, and I got, well, I got a little bit of lucky. I finally what? found diamonds, it was an 8 vein, and because of my fortune, I got 23 from it. Bro, what the f Basically already done. <laughs> Bro. Um, I might just see how many diamonds I can get. Buying for an eventual peak. I found diamonds behind iron. And this is also an 8 vein, what the heck? Right, I have 42 diamonds. <laughs> I deserve it. It's hard beating me. As for most of the other caving trip, well, here we are on day 43 where I mined a lot of iron and a lot of gold. I was honestly doing all right. Don't get me wrong. Here's a little bit of an update on day 44 where I was mining some diamonds. I had 58 by the end of 44, which was an insane amount of diamonds. It wasn't the only thing I was finding as well. Another update on day 45, and would you look at that? Another spawner, this time with a piercing free book? I'm sure, why not? And it was on day 46 where I decided that my adventure should come to an end. With little to no food left, I was going to starve down here. So let's head back up to the service and get home safely. I was back up on 47. It's night? Wow, who would have seen that one coming? Day 48, and we finally got ourselves some diamond stuff made. I just need some more level for us so enchanting go to the nether screw the nether, go to the nether. don't test me on my minecraft parody knowledge because you will not win <laughs> i mean to be fair i used to listen to playlists of one like top 100 minecraft parody music when i was a 10 year old there is a version on youtube of don't mine at night which is 10 hours long and i once completed it <laughs> jesus christ it's a dude really good song and so on day 49 i went back into the nether firstly to find myself some disappearing gas and then marvin was just losing his mind yeah my mike wazowski oh, oh what the Ooh. sorry i thought i heard it did, did you say mike wazowski or did you not and you, you said mike wazowski Oh, uh, I heard something with an M. It was like, uh, Mike Wazowski. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Haven. I don't know. And on day 50, I had gotten myself 40 levels. It is time for me to return home. Let's do some enchants. Firstly, by getting the perfect pickaxe, I'll take the sword. And this armor chance would be fantastic if I could, oh, I don't know, go into the water. I also finally added the doors back to my Among Us house. That was nice. On day 51, I started by being a friendly neighbor, giving us to just enough diamonds to be able to make full diamond. I'm, I'm a good guy like that. I never take anything. I only give. And then I headed back underground with a simple plan to get myself some obsidian. I wanted to set up a portal on my island because it was just easy and I'm running all the way over to Austin's island. At least that was the plan until something incredible happened. It very much didn't matter. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so, zombie villager. Zombie villager. Zombie villager. Okay, don't mess it up this time. Oh, two don't zombie crash. villagers. What? Don't mess it up this time. I, I Well, I'm going to need help. There's a lot of schnitzel down here. Oh my well, 
I cannot I'm help. I'm in the nether, like, really I'm in the far nether. away from the pool. I'm really far away from you. I quickly grabbed myself some obsidian and began heading back with the villagers. It took most of the day and part of the night, but I did get them up into their safe location. Day 52, I asked Marvin to make me a weakness potion. Take your time, Marvin. No, screw this, I'm gonna go pee. Lucky Marvin is a pro, so this shouldn't- I've never made fermented spider eye before. I want you guys to know this. It's at this point that we noticed a little bit of a mistake. Bro, you need an apple. Do we have any apples? Oh god, I have- Oh god, Haven. I have one golden apple on me. It's not actually that much of a problem because this guy's like got a helmet and he's holding something so if we, if we can't cure him right now it's not a massive issue. Alright, there you go. Let's dig him a nice little hole. Nice. Hey, get out quite quickly as well. Day 53 and I finally set up the portal. Now to work on the hole. Alright then. Day 54 we decided it'd be kind of funny if we built him a house. Not for him to like go into the house but just so he's stuck underneath the house so he has a house but he's still dug in that underground hole. At least we thought that'd be funny. A lot of sweat and tears went into this household and well Marvin was very impressed. Why is this why does this so, look so thin? Bro <laughs> this roof Bro come on you can't leave the roof looking like that. I, I just did. <laughs> bro It's my island. <laughs> Marvin, before you talk about any build on any island in any existence ever, look that way! <laughs> is that why you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I really need to finish these enchantments on day 55, and so I decided to head back in Never. Luckily for me, there was a new portal which put me in a new location, which means there was plenty of quartz for me to mine. Day 57, we had 40 levels, we good to head back. Here we are on day 58, and I just want to point something out. See that cherry tree? And that there's dirt in the cherry tree? Now, the same thing happened to me in 400 days, and everybody said it was just an enderman, but uh, well, I don't think that's an enderman, guys. That, I mean, it's the exact same spot as last time. I think it's just a bug. And Anyway, let's enchant. I started with a bow where I just got flame. The second time around, it was much better. And then it was on for the pants, which was just lame. At least I got myself an enchanted book and made myself a much better sword. But yet again, I am out of levels. I decided to say, screw it. Let me just do some lower level enchants. And to be fair, I got protection free on both of my spare pieces of armor. I'm going to be honest, this armor set isn't great. But for what I need it for, it will do for the time being. Day 59 and Austin had returned. So I wanted to show Austin, I, I called it Edgar's house because I guess this is is Edgar now. He hated it. Shocker. And it was time for a little bit of a group meeting. Things were going to get a bit complicated and so yeah. You know what? I'm not the person to get Dr. Avenand in here. Why would you do it again? You're on another island. Why would you do, do something else other than survival island Haven? What the? Oh. <clears throat> Hello everybody. Dr. Havenand here. Love to see you. Now there's three big plans for the next couple of steps for this 100 days and we need to talk about them. Firstly, we need to find ourselves a stronghold. Now sadly we can't just go over there because A. We can't swim him and B would technically not allow to leave the island. And so someone's gonna have to volunteer and dig all the way to the stronghold. It's gonna be a monstrous task. I'm not doing it. Secondly, we need to get ourselves some wither skulls. Eventually, we're gonna need to take on a wither as we usually do. And so someone's gonna have to spend a little bit of time in the nether getting ourselves some wither skulls. And finally, we're gonna need a bunch of Doug Dan Dimmadones. You see, we need netherite upgrades and trimmings and to duplicate all that, well, we need a lot of diamonds. So someone needs to go into the caves and mine as much diamonds as possible. It's three pretty big tasks, but luckily there's three of us, and so each one of us took one of the jobs. Austin volunteered to go to the stronghold, Marvin volunteered to go and get some diamonds, and I had an itch to kill some withers, so I went to go for the wither skull. It was day 60 where I was in the nether, having killing all the skeletons looking for some skulls, and already having one skull on day 62, I actually killed three wither skeletons and got two skulls from them, which is just fantastic, I've never been so lucky. Anyway, by day 63 we made our way home, it was shockingly nice. I know. Can't even sleep since everybody are faffing around in the world. And since I had some time to kill before Austin came up with the stronghold, I decided that I'm going to join Marvin in the caves to see if I can mine myself some diamonds. I did actually give him my fortune free diamond pickaxe, so unfortunately I just had to play one. But 64 to 67 hours in the caves, mining diamonds, I just got myself 25 diamonds, which is definitely going to help. Guys. Yeah. Stronghold? I see stone brick. Stronghold. I spy hey, with what? my little eye. What are you spying? It's the stronghold. This is a chat. Oh. And so it was time to head up. Night time, you say? Huh, who's seen that one coming? Day 69, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't really do that much here. Marvin was still in the caves, and Austin was still setting up a portal in the nether and coming to get us, so, uh, well, there was not really much for me to do here. I'm just sat around twiddling my thumbs. Oh, hey, Marvin. It's a game from another fortress.
I don't want to. Fine! Jesus Christ! Look at his bed! <laughs> <laughs> there is something like fundamentally wrong with your brain, Daniel. <laughs> he gives no warning of it and then gets so furious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I also found out on day 70 that Austin wasn't planning to come get us. He was basically just like, you guys come to me, which to be fair made more sense. And so we made our way into the Never and started heading over towards him. It took us 20 minutes, but we did find him on day 71. He had placed some doors, which, uh, you know, do what you want with that information. Now, day 72, let's do this. One epic dragon fight later, and I mean, yeah, it's a dragon fight. I've done it 100 times over. 51 levels was quite nice. Make this, I believe. Oh my god, I'm I am the Kobe of Minecraft. I've written my notes, day seven something, I don't know. Did find myself in N City though. Took me forever to get here, but we did. And it was into the ship for some decent gimmies. Also got myself an Elytra. And one cheeky, somewhat cheaty advancement later, and we can start heading our way home. I did get back on 78 and the boys were already there. I only have a solid 21. Oh for so God's sake! Need to build. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where'd he, where'd he oh, go? Dude, dude <laughs> I'm on a hard I'm on a hard Bro. Don't shoot me! <laughs> <laughs> Next up is we need to get ourselves a bit of Neverite and a little bit of Neverite upgrades. And Bastion sound fun, so I sent the guys off to go get some Neverite whilst I look for the upgrades. Now when I tell you this took a minute, this took a minute. Here we are on date 83. That's right, it was just a lot of running around the Never where I found the Bastion. I searched around the Bastion where I first found myself the Neverite upgrade, which is fantastic. But even better, even better than Neverite. I got myself some pig step! Woo! I got back home on day 83. 85, I collected all the diamonds that were mine. I made myself 18 upgrades. I also cured the final zombie villager because I got myself a golden apple from the bastion and then set up stuff in the pink house of loveliness. Don't know why I keep calling it that. Let's move on. He was cured on day 86 and one gentle nudge later and he was in the hole. And now we play the waiting game. It was day 89 and Marvin was, well, he was pretty unhappy. I never want to do that again. Okay, no, that's... Why, I, why do you think I decided to go for the upgrade? Because that right mining is awful. Oh, yeah. Dude, I want to die, It wasn't die, that man. bad. I think you were just I wanna unlucky. Die. I want to die, man. Okay. I want to die. I think you're just bad. Okay. I... Think... Kerb, shut up! <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think... <laughs> I was Shut like zooming. Up. After cooking up a bunch of Neverite, we actually had one ingot spare. Oh, I mean, what else were we gonna do? And then on day 90, it was now time for us to finally fight the Wither. Now, we could do it here on one of the islands, or we could do it on that Among Us in the Sky, which sounded kind of funny, so, uh, well, up we go. Now, Marvin, you said, how could you make this more cinematic? How could we make this situation more cinematic? I need uh -huh. you both to turn around quickly. Yeah, this uh, might, we might instantly get like destroyed, man. We might instantly fall like, directly over. Marvin, move. Marvin, move. Where is it? Where <laughs> is it? Where is it? I don't see. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Just remember, if you fall, have your uh, elytra in your offhand. No, oh, that's boy, for my lucky. Oh, I'm dying. I'm taking so much damage. Dude, we might actually kill it up here. You guys might. <laughs> it is, to be fair, it is coming down. <laughs> it's gonna be back on like half health by the time it gets It here. is. It will. And the if Among Us is die. just like perfectly <laughs> blown up. Destroyed. It's the crescent moon of Among Us. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Come back, me, boy. <laughs> oh, dude, he knocked down the, the scaffolding. <laughs> I got this. I don't got this. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die there. Oh, I think he destroyed all the stuff! Yeah, okay, yeah. so melee range! Beat him up! Get him! Okay, I'm getting low! I'm good. Gotta get low! Yeah. Low, 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 low! I did it, boys! And my house is intact. Oh, that's a good point. We dug out an area for the beacon, placed the blocks where they need to be placed, and we were basically done. And then between day 92 all the way until 96, we had just mined a bunch of iron. I got myself about six and a half stacks of iron, which was actually much more than I expected. It was actually much more than we needed. So having a bit of spare iron, never going to be an issue. Day 97, and I, I mean, I was just cooking the iron. What do you, what do you want me to say? Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And you want me to be? You want me to be a seller? I have a Discord. I have Twitter. I have Twitter. What do you want me to say? I'm cooking iron. Day 90. 
create and let's place the blocks in. I thought I did it right. I was very, very wrong. It was a very, very easy fix. And then we slept one more time on the night of 99. Just gonna crack my fingers really quickly and... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. Thank you. Rude! <laughs> I mean, that's what I was gonna do. Hey, boys! Day 100, we did it. What do you guys take one of the feet from my Among Us? <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> One of the blocks is missing. Why would you guys do that? What was the point? <laughs> all right, it was probably Jared. He likes feet. <laughs> uh, all right, get off a surfer. <laughs>